Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to another Knowledge Nuggets. This week, we're going to shorten it up and see if we can actually get a smaller nugget in here. We're going to do uh, DMZ, which is Demilitarized Zone. So let's get over to it. Uh, in computer networking, the term DMZ is taken from the military term DMZ, de Demilitarized Zone. Um, in a demilitarized zone for a computer network, uh, what it does is it protects your internal machines on your LAN from traffic that may be destined for a web server or an email server, some sort of public facing server. So what it does is it creates the segregation between you know your LAN clients and the traffic that's going to be going to the server. So um, let's take a look at this a little bit. So there are two common ways to set this up. And over here we've got DMZ number one. And so what's going to happen over here is you're going to have angry cloud guy. All right, so somebody is looking for the service on, let's turn this down just a second here. All right, so somebody is looking for the service on your web server, right? And this is running at port 80 or 443. And in DMZ number one, these are physical ports, these connections. So this is your WAN port. This is another port, and this could go directly to a single server or it could go to a switch or a switch stack where you have multiple servers that need to be exposed to the internet. And then this is an interface that connects to your LAN. So when somebody wants to connect to services on this web server, it's going to come from the cloud and it's going to go directly here and it is not going to go here. So that's one way to set it up. Then over here we've got the second DMZ and the cloud is always upset. But in this scenario, we've got two physical firewalls. So you've got your LAN clients down here, and they're behind this firewall. Then on the other side of the firewall, we've got this web server. So we've got port 80 and 443. So when the LAN client wants to get to it, it goes through this firewall and connects. When somebody from the outside world wants to get through it, it comes through this firewall and connects. And this traffic never makes this leap so it never it never goes from here through and then down that just does not that doesn't happen so um let's see on this So we've got 80 and 443. So another advantage to this is what you commonly see is the firewall rules are set up so that this host, this web server, if it would happen to be compromised, this web server can never initiate connections by itself back this way. And it can usually only go like to an update server outside. So if this is Windows or if it is uh, Linux and there's an update server outside, so you could get to, to possibly updates. But it, it can usually not initiate traffic internally. It doesn't happen. So it really does keep this segregated. So if this guy is compromised, it can't sneak back into the network. Now this is just one and, and two of a handful of ways to set this up. You know, more popular things that are out there, you know, are uh, DNAT, port forwarding, and things like that, having subnets, and then having ACLs inside. I see a lot more of that than I do traditional DMZ, but the reason that I really wanted to talk about DMZ, and I'm picking on Linksys because it's easy, because they have a ton of routers out there. If you go over to ui.linksys.com, if you don't have your own Linksys router, you can log into all these devices and follow along. I logged into, what is this one? This is a smart Wi-Fi device. 
and this is the WRT3200 ACM so this is a newer router so we log into the the web interface we go down here to security and they have this DMZ tab this is not a DMZ this is that's what they call it but it's not a DMZ because it's not it's it's basically creating a one-to-one -one translation between your WAN and whatever PC so they've tried to do something um, so you could specify a range of IPs but are you going to specify the whole damn internet in there? I don't, I don't know. Uh, or any IP address can get to it. And then over here you have a single IP address or a MAC address. So I just want to reiterate that this, um, this, this is not a DMZ. That's what they call it. That's what they call it. But I'm going to tell you this. If you've got, you know, if somebody has called tech support and, you know, they're not the most tech savvy um, person and somebody has told them to open this, you know, Cloud Guy over here is going to love it. You know, this is what he wants. You know, he wants you to create a one to one translation. Um, if if your machine's not up to date, if there's no antivirus or whoever that is, I mean, you're really putting yourself at risk by do by doing that. Don't use that that DMZ. If you're gonna do things like that, you know, let's uh, you know for the price of some of these Linksys and D-Link home routers, you can buy you know a Ubiquity uh, router and and firewall, and you can have you know enterprise type security, but. That's it. Uh, rant off about DMZ. So I hope you'll come back for Security Saturday and other configuration videos. Uh, I, the PayPal um, donations have been coming in. So thank you for that. Thanks for using the links, um, the Amazon links that are down there for your purchases. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. And don't forget that thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next video.